is in Madison, Wisconsin. This is Occupy Madison right now. Which basically, Occupy is trying to help the issue of homeless people. There's people out here that have lost their homes due to foreclosure, no longer get unemployment, just plain can't get a job. There's all kinds of issues out here over why different people are homeless. Well, we're moving from 800 East Washington out to 1202 Northport, right on the front lawn of uh, Human Services Building. No, oh, how kind of appropriate, wouldn't you think? Yeah, the, um, so this morning so far we've talked to a park ranger who has told us that we um, could get tickets if we're there. We've talked to the um, captain out there, the police captain out there, Cam McClay, came and talked to us and said, well, there seems to be some jurisdictional issues. Um, we'll send some officers over just to get to know you guys. You know, it's up for our higher ups to, to try to figure out. And then just now, the Corp Council and the Director of Human Services was out there. I didn't hear those conversations, but the <laughs> Corp Council told us there's no legal way for you to be here. And we're like, uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. like, what are we going to do? <laughs> there's just no way for us to be legal anyplace. Um, they seem to think that the shelters were totally empty last night and everyone could have gone there, but they forget that there's only 60 days in shelter. And, and people don't want to use their days right now because they want to wait until it's really cold out. Even okay, though the mayor says 60 yeah. people found housing, I see a whole Aren't, aren't we limited in how many days we can use a shelter in, in years also, like a lifetime? Uh, for families, it's lifetime limit, um, 180 days, 90 days per year. And then for well, singles, the tents, it's 60 days. Bags, all that is just awesome. And we really great. Can you tell us a little bit about what happens out there in the real world? Necessarily. Well, can't Take you just into go into a gas station bathroom and use it? Um, what do you do if the nearest gas station is five miles? What do you do if the nearest gas station is not open 24 hours? Um, that's yeah, always um, a big concern. It's really, really hard. It's really hard to be a man out here, but being a woman out here, you know, is a whole different mess of problems because you have other things, you know, like underclothing, you have hair you need to brush, you have, you know, um, shampoo you need and stuff that, that men don't always always need or think about. And then you have nowhere to wash your socks or wash your hair or shave your legs. Things People like want to keep human issue. just because we have no place to live doesn't mean we don't want to be clean and we don't want to look nice and Something presentable don't for always public. understand the gray area of homelessness. And they um, have shed such a negative light on it. And it's nice that, you know, um, people understand and especially understand a woman's aspect on this. Because if I didn't, I mean, and I'm in a relationship with my boyfriend and I don't, I, I don't know how I would ever survive out here without a little help. Month rolls around and you're on the street and nobody cares. And it's, it's worse for women. I, my heart goes out to all the, these women because I'm, I mean, I'm consider myself a strong woman. And like I said, I have my boyfriend, but a lot of these women don't. Uh, female, feminine issues, personal items, you know, um, showers, things like that. And, and there's this whole gray area of, of this homeless life that people just don't understand. It's greed that keeps the working class just barely hanging on. You remember us, we're the ones that do all the work you profit from. It's greed that ruins the water and the air and takes the trees. It gives Mother Earth a fever that could bring us to our knees. And it's greed that keeps the wars alive far across the sea. Where we trade our people. sons and daughters for some oil that we don't need. I don't know. It's, it's got to be up to our people, you know, people in the neighborhood. It's got to be up to them. Yeah, well. You guys are just sm a small portion of the homeless, really. Now just for a chosen small portion. Oh, yeah. We're not There's a lot more in the So what are you going to do if they don't let you stay here? I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's, that's a good question. That's, that's, that's you know, period. some people have no home, you know, family to help them. What are you supposed to do? It's just like the shelters after your 60 days up. In my case, I don't have no family down here. So my 60 what days is up, you got to be shelter. halfway froze in order to get in. No, I don't have that. No, it's like a shock to my system saying, okay, no, I don't have a TV that I wear an apartment key to walk in. You know, I just don't have that. Now i got to rebuild that back up. My credit's crap. doesn't help. Got my husband and me have an eviction on our record. That makes it hard to get an apartment. Yes. So the things that others might overlook and take for granted.
we are very appreciative. Yeah, they've been yeah. visited by the park ranger, the uh, law enforcement, lawyers. I just want to show you this building. You can see this land that they have. We've got this huge, huge lawn. And that's the human services building. That's that's supposed to help people. That place right there. It's time to occupy. Changed forever by some normal folks like me who discovered.